Welcome back to Route 4 TV. Omar Macy here. Uh, today we're going to install the BT Combat as a Tacomo Magazine Kit, which would be the MKV series for the BT. Um, well, first step, of course, we're going to disassemble the marker, take out all the screws, pins, everything you need from this marker to put onto the MKV series. We cannot emphasize enough to look at your owner's manual, everything you need to know how to maintenance, uh, take apart, put back together, and all the safe procedures are in your manual, okay? This case is for the BT. Alright, uh, so first step, we're going to take out the screws that hold the pin together. Everything's been loosened up, so if it looks a little bit quick, well, there's a reason for it. Okay. Alright, so first step is take out the your grip, trigger guard, uh, trigger pack. And the BT, it's all one, just as it would be on the A5 and X7 on the Titmans. Okay, so again, we're going to speed through this section. So you're going to use most of your components that come in. So you want to save all your screws because, as we'll see in the video, you're going to need a lot of these screws that come from this body. You're going to transfer them over. All right, everything's been loosened up. Uh, this uh, hopper adapter that comes with the BT. Uh, we do have a difference in the rail height from the bore of the barrel to the top of the rail. BT has its own proprietary height. What we did with the um, Tacomo kit is we basically made it a standard AR rifle configuration where the height of the top rail to the bore of the barrel is the same as it would be on an AR rifle. What that will allow you to do is be able to use handguards that are used for the real rifles. Uh, all the optics, rear sights, front sights, everything will co-witness and align to what it's supposed to be on the on the barrel. So, uh, so that being the case, this from the BT you cannot be able to use it, but we do have one in the kit that uh, will allow you to basically do the same function as this one. It's very similar. In the kit, you will receive a parts diagram, so you know what you're supposed to get. If uh, make sure that you that you check your parts diagram if anything's missing, um, which we're doing our best to QC all the packages are going out, make sure that everything you have, but uh, if anything's missing, let us know right away so we can take care of it for you. Okay, at this point, this no more screws in the body, so this should just, there we go, separate. Okay, so the left side of the BT is now removed. This is a great time to see how everything is put together. That way, when you put it together in your marker, uh, you just want to make sure it fits exam the same way that it does on the original BT marker. So if we can get the camera a little bit closer here and kind of take a look at, let's see if we can almost take like a snapshot of what it's supposed to look like. So what you have, uh, several things that will change in this case. The barrel that's supplied with, eh, there we go, the barrel that's supplied with the BT will be added to a new adapter because this adapter will not be used anymore. But everything else, you have bolt, the transfer rod, your power tube assembly, your striker or hammer, uh, basically blowback spring, and the guide rod and rear end plug. Something that we will not be using from this kit will be the ball detent. Uh, ball detent is right here. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, but okay. You got a look? All right. So the next step is there's two screws holding the power tube together on the on the BT. We're going to remove those two screws. At this point, we can pretty much just transfer all the components right over onto the MKV kit. Okay, um, let's go ahead and the MKV kit. Okay, I'm going to actually just take out the components that we need for right now. We have the two receiver halves. Again, as I mentioned to you earlier, the center line to the bore to the top rail has been made of a mil spec size, uh, so you can use uh, military optics and basically accessories that are commonly used. Which in the future, when you have some accessories for this, will make it a lot easier to uh, basically match whatever you need. This is the part that comes with the kit. This has an actual uh, a cam lever lock system. Very common. Uh, you've all seen this. Make it a little simple. Alright, 
you're going to want to take out all the little parts that are in the little baggie. You're going to have the proprietary screw, which the magwell hinges on. Remember that this right here has a system that it hinges on. So you will want to take your right receiver half. Okay, that's where the power tube gets attached to. This is the side we're going to work on first. We can set this aside for right now. Okay. Uh, you may or may not want to do this. Uh, this has been, you know, with any casting, uh, any casting procedure or any casting uh, system like this, there are variations, there are tolerances. Uh, this is the O-ring that we use on this right receiver. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the right receiver for the blowback air on the new generation Titmans. Um, you can go ahead and put it on, okay? However, uh, in some cases, this right here throws off the power tube off to one side and you could have problems. The BT and the old, uh, basically earlier generations of 98 do not require an O-ring on the side since their blowback air is a pivot that comes out through the body. This is not necessary. Um, so, But we're going to put it on just because this is the way this one was designed and in most cases it will not give you any problems. So first thing you want to do here is remove your back cap because this is what's spring loaded. If you don't do that, things can fly everywhere and it's never fun. Okay, barrel, we're going to set it aside. We'll get back to the barrel in just a moment. Okay, you can see now, this whole kit, this whole portion of it now can just pop off, off the body. We're going to take out the bolt, and we'll start by placing, we don't actually remove this. This right here should, you have no need to remove this unless uh, you're going to go to an internal air system, which we'll cover later, or in the future, I should say. Okay. All right, so again, first step align the... BT blowback air pivot through the body. Make sure the power tube is in place. Your two screw locations are showing. Okay. For securing the power tube onto the body, uh, you'll need two screws, one which is supplied by BT, and the rear uh, screw is supplied by us. It's a little bit longer, uh, so just make sure that you look for it in your parts diagram. And everything will be tightened, but for now we can just kind of place it in there. Okay. Once the power tube is in place, second step is to grab your striker assembly, feed it through these two pins on the body. I'm going to get this close to the camera again if I can. There's two pins that are on the body. These two pins are the guide pins for the Tipman ACT system. Now, because of the way that our body is, we have the space for the internal airline. You want to keep those in place. Even though you don't have the new Tipman ACT, uh, these pins must remain in the body or else you will experience other sorts of problems like the guide bar basically will come out of alignment so very important make sure that those are in there when you receive your kit if they're not in there for whatever reason let us know right away All right. again there is uh, everything should be there we're checking that everything is there um, okay again uh, all these installation instructions are in your owner's manual, so up until now, we really have no differences between the BT and the kit. Okay, so at this point, we have our right receiver with all the components installed. Um, yeah, that pretty much, is, pretty much is it. Okay, so we will assemble the other half. I mean, this really does not take a long time. Once you're used to this, I mean, you can just fly right through it put it together really quickly. Those of you who have taken apart your BT to clean it or to service it will find it very easy to do all of these steps. So, all right. Now, we did not include this uh, ball stopper from BT because well, we have a different system. Because of the way the magazine feeds, you cannot use this. Uh, plus, this is a dual-sided one. So, just set it off to the side. Just just like our BT barrel adapter. Just toss it off to the side. Okay, let me see. All right, uh, you have a screw. This is a very important screw. It's the screw that the magwell hinges on. It's a proprietary screw, it's in the bottom front lug. 
It's already pre-installed on your right side receiver. On the left side, you just have to put it in there. Uh, all right, so you have four main screws. I'm sorry, five main screws that hold the whole body together. Uh, the VT has four, but because we supply this fifth one, let's say the proprietary one, you'll have enough. In any case, we're making sure that you have all your screws. All goes together. All the screws are in place. We now have a... Basically, the main core has been put together. All we're going to do now is just reassemble the trigger grip and make sure everything aligns. Um, next important thing is just to put in... BT has this uh, dual-sided screw that holds the trigger frame in place. Just align it. All right, so two pin, two parts of the screws are in. Now we just put in the, I don't know, call it the, the male part of the screw. All right, uh, there is one thing that I did not uh, mention to you here. We already discussed how we're not going to be using the ball stopper for the, uh, from the B, from the BT. We're going to use the proprietary ball stopper. Now, this ball stopper is already installed onto the body here. Um, in most cases, when you receive it, it'll be so it's inside. It slips it in and out. It's just the same as the ball stopper that you have there. It's just it's, instead of having a two-legged one, it has one. It's only one-sided, like the tip and body ones. Okay. Next step, we'll attach the magazine well. So here we have a magazine well. You can see, just put them. Uh, basically, slip the magazine over the hinge pin. Make sure it's flush to basically the two brown parts or the radius is, is matching the radius of the front lug pin. At this point, all you have to do is just attach, attach the included pin on this side. You will There you go. That does it. Goes right in. It's not too tight. I mean, it's again, it's nice and snug, but it's not going anywhere. And that's, uh, that's really what we're looking for. Okay, so we're almost done here. I mean, this is uh, pretty much your kit. All right, this is a difference here that I wanted you to look at. Um, this is included in your kit. This is your barrel adapter. The BT barrel adapter basically looks like this. It's kind of like an A5 or X7 from Tipman barrel adapter. A little bit different. It doesn't have the O-ring groove for it. but So we're not going to use this, not for this kit. The reason being, this is the MKV, uh, basically it has multiple platforms that are being supported by this receiver set. Um, so what we did is basically give you an extension that we can use your own barrel, and it gives you more barrel options. I mean, because this has the 98 or the US Army uh, line of paintball markers thread. So, there you go. Okay, let's put that in place, and now your barrel just fits right over, no problems. Okay? And that pretty much is it. I mean, at that point you could replace your rear sight. Um, now without, without the hopper adapter, which has like a little kind of front, front sight going with it, you may consider having either a different type of optic or something else uh, for it. Thank you very much.